Hello, let me explain how to read thermodynamics properties of the moist air using psychrometric chart. This chart which you see here is for the moist air, air that carries some quantity of water vapors. It is plotted for a constant atmospheric pressure of 101.3 to 5 kilopascal. Thermodynamics properties that we can read from this psychrometric chart are dry bulb temperature, specific humidity, let's say the symbol is omega, for this dry bulb temperature is T, relative humidity, phi, enthalpy with H, dew point temperature, with bulb temperature and finally specific volume. So these are the things that we can read and can see on this psychrometric chart. If I know any two of these properties I can find the rest. So let's begin with dry bulb temperature to identify all these different lines. On the x-axis it shows dry bulb temperature and it ranges from minus 10 all the way to 50. On the y-axis, it shows specific humidity or humidity ratio and grams of water vapors per kg of dry air. These lines shows relative humidity in percentage starting from 10% to 90 and 100%. So this is 100% relative humidity line or saturated line. Enthalpy lines, uh, these are constant enthalpy lines. Okay. Uh, then dew point temperature, we see horizontal lines, these dotted horizontal lines represent the dew point temperature. With bulb temperature lines, are here again dotted lines. These are constant wet bulb temperature lines, almost parallel to the enthalpy lines. And finally, specific volume lines. These bar lines shows the specific volume of the moist air. So let's fix any two parameters and try to find rest of the properties. For instance, the air condition or the state of the air is such that dry bulb temperature is 25 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity is 50%. So can I fix this point on the psychrometric chart? Of course. See, this is the dry bulb temperature and to draw a straight vertical line until it intersects the 50% 50 uh, 50 relative humidity, which is right here. And to find the other properties, such as specific humidity, it is on this horizontal line, 10 gram of water vapors per, dry, per kg dry air. Similarly, we can see the enthalpy at that point, okay, close to this line, and this line is, if you see, extended all the way. It's around 50 kilojoule per kg of dry air, okay. Dew point temperature of this state or at this point is, if you sketch a line to the left until it touches the saturated line, then draw a vertical straight line from that point. And you see here that it is somewhere 14 degrees Celsius. The wet bulb temperature at this point is uh, by can be can be plotted by sketching a line that is parallel to the wet bulb temperature lines, which is almost to this enthalpy line. So when it intersects the saturated line, then draw a vertical down line 
and you'll find it somewhere here which is uh, around 18 degrees Celsius and finally the specific volume so these lines for specific volumes as I mentioned this line is around 0.8 cubic meter per kg this must be 0 0.82, 0 0.86, sorry 0 0.84, 0 0.86 so this is somewhere 0 0.858 or 0 0.86 that's acceptable range right specific volume 0 0.86 cubic meter per kg so this is the state of the air it is fully defined because we know all these seven thermodynamics properties which we can read from the psychrometric charts. I hope it was useful. Thanks for watching.